The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 in 3D. Katniss is leading Squad 451, or more or less leading, in an attempt to assassinate President Snow in the Capitol. This brings everything that had that has happened up to this point to an end, including the love triangle and a lot of the way it's satisfying. The, the, the problems arise when you look at the extended cast, especially the characters that are only in this one. They just didn't need to be there. It's, they, they have they have an impact in the book, but they should have just been eliminated when cutting down because the the little amount of time and presence that they do get is just not enough. And you're just, you know, the audience is just left, yeah, not really, you know, you're not going to remember this character. If you didn't read the book, if you don't know where that character came from, yeah, it's just not going to stick with you. And there's really no reason for them being in here. The movie does give some really... We, we see Katniss, Gale, and Peeta in various emotional extremes, and every performance, everyone does great acting, and everyone is well cast. This very much does take the war to President Snow's backyard, the the capital under siege is full of refugees and it gets the, the movie really gets into the brutality of war the you know unethical tactics and just yeah you you really get a sense that this is going to be a hard victory this is not going to be one of those yeah it is it is indeed not sweet and good to die for the the fatherland motherland whatever and yeah it it's it is very much very political and very much an anti-war story and yeah it really works it's they they did add a little to to you know make it even more effective but it is fortunate timing that this would happen to be released in, considering that it very much a lot of it is right there in the book which came out years ago so a, a few years ago so it's yeah it's fiercely relevant and hopefully the the movie will change a lot of minds the the action is still great and you yeah the the it doesn't really disappoint as just you know getting to see the the war becoming entirely personal and getting the kind of resolution to the overall story and there are some good things to come from it being split into two movies instead of just one three-hour movie. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this franchise, the links are in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.